Out of all of the small towns in the United States, Petoskey ranked in the top 100. In fact, it consistently ranks as the best place to live in Michigan with a grade of A by Niche.com. So I wanna dive deep into one of Northern Michigan's most iconic towns. We're going to talk about the good, the very good, and unfortunately, even the ugly of living in Petoskey. While it is well known to the locals, Petoskey still doesn't quite get the attention it deserves on a national level. Today, I'm going to tell you what it's like to live in Petoskey from the perspective of somebody who has lived here for 40 years. First off, let's talk about where Petoskey is located and why everyone loves it so much. You'll find Petoskey in Northern Michigan, specifically on the Northwest part of the tip of the mint. I'm often asked what makes Petoskey special. And while I think being on the shores of Little Traverse Bay is a great start because it gives you such breathtaking views and you constantly see the water from just about every single place you're at in Petoskey. Also, one of the things I personally love about Petoskey is even though it's a small town, you are still very close to some much larger cities in case you wanna get out of the small town environment and enjoy the conveniences of larger town living. So you get the best of both worlds, a quiet place when you want it and access to the big city life when you need it. Here's a quick overview of Petoskey. Petoskey is located in Emmett County and has just under 6,000 local residents. It's about a four hour drive from Detroit and about a five and a half hour drive to Chicago. And an insider tip and one of my personal favorite things to do is take the hour and a half drive from Petoskey to the Cherry Capital Airport located close by in Traverse City, hop on a plane and take the 37 minute flight from Traverse City to Chicago. You are barely in the air before it's time to come back down. In fact, given the time change, if you leave at eight o'clock in the morning, when you arrive in Chicago, it's still eight o'clock in the morning. This town has a peaceful feel to it. It has the rolling hills and a tremendous amount of small town charm that you just don't find these days. But don't worry, even though it's small, you still have access to everything you need. Now that you know where Petoskey is, let's talk about what there actually is to do here. But first, please remember to hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss any videos about Petoskey or Northern Michigan in general. Your support means I can keep bringing these videos which have a ton of value absolutely free to you. Now let's talk about things to do. If you like outdoor activity, then of course Petoskey is going to be the place you want to consider. However, there are still many of other things to do here. Let's talk about outdoor activities. There's tons of bike trails and paths and places to run or jog. There's also the Little Travers Wheelway, which spans from Harbor Springs to Charlevoix, which is a little over 40 miles that you can walk on, push a stroller, ride a bike, or rollerblade if that's what you like to do. Also, Petoskey State Park feels like it is literally built in a sand dune, and it has hundreds of feet of sandy beach that you will not find anywhere, and is also a great way to spend a summer afternoon. Skiing is also another popular activity here in the winter. While Petoskey itself doesn't have a ski hill, it is smack dab in the center, between Boyne Highlands, Nubs Knob, and a little further south, Boyne Mountain. While I know I'm in the minority, I prefer Boyne Highlands over Nubs Knob, when in fact, many of the locals would much rather go to Nubs than Boyne any day of the week. Also, there is great fishing in Petoskey. If you're an angler, you're going to love it here. Petoskey is truly one of the best places to fish in the area. You're able to fish from shore, fish from a boat, even fly fish in a lot of areas. One of my personal favorite things to do is call Plumber's Helper Charter to take you out for an afternoon and make catching huge lake trout or salmon incredibly easy. One of the things that surprises people about Petoskey is even though it's a very small town, it has an extensive cultural scene. To dive a little further into the cultural and art scene, I would tell you to check out the Crooked Tree Art Center. They often have performances, art displays, and many other things throughout the year that will appeal to anybody that is interested in both the culture and the arts of the area. Also, like a lot of areas in Northern Michigan, Petoskey is quickly becoming a wine scene. It seems like every year another winery pops up. In fact, one of the most popular wineries in the area, the Mackinac Trail Winery, is a great place to go to have a glass of wine or a glass of beer or even a pizza. Now, given how old Petoskey is, let's not forget about the historical sites here. One of the oldest hotels in the area is the Stafford's Perry Hotel which is a tourist attraction. It even comes complete with its own ghost stories. Also, in terms of the history of the area, Petoskey is known for its Victorian homes. If you drive through downtown, specifically Mitchell Street, you will notice the large, expansive, beautiful Victorian homes we have here. So given the location and everything there is to do in Petoskey, you have a pretty good idea of what it's like to visit here. But what is it actually like to live in Petoskey? Now let's talk about the lifestyle. I personally believe that the lifestyle is one of the reasons people choose to live in Petoskey. When you buy a home in Petoskey, you're not just buying 
four walls and a roof or a place to sleep at night, you are buying into an actual specific lifestyle. One that many people strive to achieve and only a few unfortunately are able to have. Living in Petoskey gives you that feel of living in a small town with an emphasis towards a healthy lifestyle. In fact, a lot of the people that call me to live in Petoskey mention that they're doing so because they wanna live a healthy lifestyle and it's a lot easier to do that in Petoskey than many other places. As someone who lives here, Petoskey is a really tight-knit community. In fact, I can't go to the local coffee shop without seeing five or six people I know. And not only am I running into people that I know, other people around me are running into people they know making it feel like an actual community that everybody knows each other. In fact, I've had many people who have relocated to Petoskey tell me they are super surprised how quickly it feels like they belong here and the community has accepted them, which I know can be a little bit of a concern when relocating to a new area. Now, as you know, there is a big emphasis on outdoor activity living in Petoskey, whether it's running, biking, jogging, or even the casual windsurfer, which we often see on the bay. Petoskey is a great location for anybody wanting to be active outside. But don't worry, if you prefer to be active inside, there are tons of great gym options, including Center City Gym, just downtown Petoskey, about a block from my office. There's an Anytime Fitness, which is a little bit south of town. And of course, as I mentioned on almost every video, there's CrossFit Petoskey, which is one of my favorite communities in Northern Michigan. Also, safety is a big plus here. In fact, I just had somebody call me that wants to relocate from Colorado to Petoskey because they got sick of having to take their valuables out of their car every time they parked in the parking lot at work. Now, when I heard this story, I almost couldn't believe it but after a quick google search i learned that it is becoming very unsafe in a lot of areas and luckily for us petoskey is still one of the safest places you would ever find to visit and if healthcare is an option we have a tremendously great hospital here mclaren northern michigan so to recap if you're looking for an area with close proximity to the hospitals great outdoor and indoor activities and is also safe petoskey could be the place for you now a lot of people that relocate to petoskey with children ask me how are the schools here one of the things that drew me to petoskey when i was younger were how great the schools were specifically how small the class sizes are i have friends that have kids in much larger areas and the ratio from student to teacher is 30 to one, 25 to one, 35 to one. My son's class has 12 kids in it, giving it a 12 to one ratio, which is very common for schools in Northern Michigan. There are great public schools and even a private school, so you can choose what meets your family needs best. The neighborhoods here are pretty friendly too. If you've seen my videos before, I'm often walking around the neighborhoods talking about what it's like to live in Petoskey. And even me with my cameraman are welcomed warmly by the local residents. They never ask me what we're doing or complain that we're on their lawn or on their sidewalk. They're always very friendly, which is one of the things I love about Northern Michigan. It's just how friendly people are. When you visit the big cities like New York or Chicago, it seems like everybody's in a hurry and everybody's trying to go someplace and everybody's just sort of a faceless person walking on the sidewalk. But in Petoskey, it seems like everything's a little bit slower here and people are much happier than other areas I've experienced. Another one of the benefits of living in Petoskey is the food scene. Whether you want pizza, fine dining, casual dining, there is literally something for everyone. And even which within each of those sectors, there's something for everyone. Meaning if you want Applebee's or Buffalo Wild Wings or one of the other chains, we have that. If you want Tap 30, Mitchell Street Pub, or one of the locally owned businesses, we have that too. Also, there's really high-end dining, such as Chandler's or Poor, and there's also much of more affordable family-style dialing, like Southwoods or Fillmore's. And I'll give you a little secret. One of my favorite restaurants is actually tucked away in the Inner Bay Harbor, and it's called Vintage. They have one of the best steaks you're ever gonna find, and not a lot of people know about it because it's tucked inside of a hotel, but I promise it's worth the hassle of walking across the parking lot. Life here is laid back with a focus on outdoor living and community. I mean it when I say that living in Petoskey is the epitome of what living in Northern Michigan is all about. Do you ever see yourself living someplace like Petoskey? Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if you could see Petoskey being the next town for you to relocate to, let's talk about some of the real estate options here. There's a very mixed bag of the type of homes we have here, which I think is great because that means there's truly something for everyone. There's waterfront homes, there's Victorian homes, and there's even some modern homes which are currently being built. Now, something I've talked about in other videos is the cost of living in Petoskey. Yes, prices have doubled in the last five years, yet people still flock here because the quality of life mixed with the cost of real estate is still much lower here than it is in other areas. I often say it's your personal perspective that's gonna determine if Petoskey is too expensive or if you still find value here. If you're talking about living in Petoskey, specifically downtown, and you want one of the big, beautiful Victorian homes on Mitchell, first, they're very rarely available. Second, they're gonna cost anywhere from a million dollars and up 
given the size and condition. Now, don't let that scare you. The average sale in downtown Petoskey is 600,000, and we often see some fixer uppers as low as 300,000 come on the market. Also something I wanna mention, and sometimes this actually surprises people, living in Petoskey is more than just living in downtown Petoskey. Petoskey geographically is a very big area, and the majority of the houses that sell here are not located downtown. We've got great subdivisions with homes ranging anywhere from 200,000 to 2 million, depending on what you're looking for. Meaning don't let the prices scare you. If you truly want to live in Petoskey, I bet we can find you something that you will love. It seems like every time someone calls me that is set on relocating to Petoskey, they have the conversation about whether they want to live downtown or outside of town and the pros and cons of both. While living downtown gives you the ability to walk to the Gaslight District, walk to one of the great restaurants, walk to the Little Travers Wheelway or to the marina. Petoskey even has some options that you can live on the water. Now, if you're looking within Petoskey, there's only a handful of houses in Petoskey that are on the water. Most of them are either gonna be in Bay Harbor or on the Inland Lake Walloon. Now, while Bay Harbor and Walloon are two of the most expensive markets in Northern Michigan, if you are able to afford a home in one of those locations, you're going to love that lifestyle. In fact, I recently did a video on everything you know about the actual cost of living in Bay Harbor. Now let's talk about the challenges of living in Petoskey. Now, as I mentioned before, while Petoskey is a great place to live, we can't ignore how expensive it's gotten in the last few years. I know I mentioned this a second ago, but Petoskey houses have literally doubled in the last five years. I often get asked how that happened, and my simple response is three things. One, during COVID, when a lot of areas were locked down, Everyone flocked to Northern Michigan because the houses are so spread apart and you could be outside and not have to worry about running into anybody. Two, the ability to work from home has caused people to flock here in droves because if you can live anywhere in the world and work from your computer, why wouldn't you choose Petoskey? Third, Petoskey has always been a popular area and there are only so many houses here, meaning any increase in demand with the limited supply is going to cause prices to go up that's simply economics 101. One of the challenges that I hope to see change in the next few years is the lack of having any sort of public transportation. We don't have taxis, we don't have buses, we don't even have Uber or Lyft here, which makes living in Northern Michigan a little trickier if you don't have a car. One of the other challenges you need to think about, especially if you're relocating from a warmer climate, which we've had many clients do, is how harsh the winters are here. They are very pretty to look at, but they can get long and hard. So make sure you're ready to deal with the snow, that you have good tires on your car, salt for your sidewalks, and a little bit additional room in your budget for those heating costs. In an attempt to make moving here a little bit easier on you, here are a few moving tips for relocating to Petoskey. The first thing is if you're relocating here for a job, make sure you pay attention to what that job pays in relation to what kind of house you can get here. We have had so many people call us because they're going to relocate to Petoskey or anywhere in Northern Michigan specifically for a job that pays X amount of dollars. And without thinking about it, they accept the job and start looking for houses only to find out that the job they took cannot pay them enough to afford to live here. Now, I know that's a crazy concept, but I promise you that's happening all the time. And it's something you definitely need to take into consideration before accepting a job. I personally love living in Petoskey. I think the community and lifestyle are great, but Petoskey is not for everyone. Luckily for you, Northern Michigan, specifically Northwest Michigan, is a very big place, and I am certain you can find the place that's right for you given the lifestyle that you want to live here. Also, my last piece of advice is start your search early. With the limited amount of houses here, it can take you a little bit longer than you're thinking to secure a house and it's never too early to start. Also, working with a local real estate agent that knows the market extremely well can be a huge advantage to you. So if you're thinking about relocating to Petoskey, please reach out to me directly at 231-487-6141 or send me an email at gino at ginodangelo.com or reply to the link in the comments. Over the years, I've helped around 600 families either relocate to or relocate from Northern Michigan, and I would love to help you next. Also, if you're not sure if Petoskey is right for you, check out this video I did on the ultimate comparison between living in Petoskey and Traverse City. Those are both very similar towns, and maybe if Petoskey's not right for you, Traverse City is.